So there are a lot of people like that and they wonder why they're not successful. But once you start, if I start telling someone psychologically, it's it focus inwards and outwards. I'd write all of it, but it didn't do anything. Once I started understanding the you, not me versus understanding that 2000 years ago, we have what we call this ancient brain and we had tribes. If we step foot out of our quote unquote tribal home, we're killed. It was life or death. We had hunter gatherers. Now we're in a more civil society, but unfortunately that brain that didn't change. The only thing that changes around us, mm -hmm. there wasn't a car. Now there's an iPhone. There was a, there was a, a land phone. Those are the things that change, but our ancient hardware never changed at all. So that's the reason why the inside and out is because you did. So we still have that. And I'm, I'm, and, and, and this is an evolutionary hypothesis, but for me, that was intrinsically motivating enough to do the thing that I already knew about, to understand the neuroscience and understand that I have this radar detector. People are born differently, but by understanding it from an evolution, evolutionary perspective, yeah. it's basically meaning that you're no different than me or the next person, unless there's aliens. Last time I checked, there are no aliens in this world. So that's the point is that I'd always get jealous and say, this person's amazing. Most people say they're born that way. Yeah, maybe some people were born with height or that.